Welcome. Um, thank you to our sponsors. Uh, we have FWC, FWRI for letting us use this great auditorium. Um, the Gulf of Mexico Research Initiative, which we all know has some money to help us fund these events. Um, again, NOAA also helps us fund these events and then all of our speakers who are going to be here joining us today to share all their great uh, knowledge with us. So just a quick brief look at the agenda. We'll have a morning session where we have about six speakers. After they're done, we will hold, well, we will hold question and, uh, questions until after all the speakers are done. We'll bring them up here to have a panel session so we can have a, a better discussion and, and ask questions to the speakers that were there in the morning session. Um, after that, we'll have lunch. Lunch is now going to be at the room called Davis 130. We will have to muster over um, past the pool to the USF campus, um, but we can all walk over there. It's not very far um, to eat lunch and then come back. Um, and then and then we'll do an afternoon session, same as the morning with four speakers and then a question and answer panel. After that second question and answer uh, panel discussion, we will have an input session, which is one of the most important parts of this workshop for my sake and for my team's sake. We want to gather input from our audiences, people that come to these seminars to ask them questions um, and get the answers from them so we can pull it up on a report and see how we can either share that report with other folks or find other ways um, to host other topics for seminars, other topics for publications, um, and uh, just to gather information and do that two-way exchange that our team likes to do. So um, hopefully everybody can stay for that input session because that's one of the important parts of this workshop. Um, so I'll just do a quick overview. Uh, I don't know if there's some folks that don't necessarily know what our team does, but I will go and quickly do a, just two couple slides. So um, as we know, Gulf of Mexico Research Initiative was a 500 million 10 year research initiative. Um, and they um, trusted Sea Grant basically to embed, who's already embedded in the community to share the science with the folks that needed the science and whose livelihood depended on a healthy Gulf of Mexico. So basically um, my team, was asked to share science, synthesize science, translate any of the science coming out of Gomery and other oil spill, whether it's government reports, other industry folks that are um, publishing peer-reviewed research results on oil spill and share those with the folks that wanted to know more information about oil spills. The specific topics include dispersants and seafood safety were two of our main questions that were asked when our team initially was formed. Um, and there are six of us that are in the, on this team. Um, if we start at the top, Steve Sampier, he's our regional coordinator. He's located with Mississippi, Alabama Sea Grant in Ocean Springs. Um, and then we also, that's me in the corner. I'm located here in St. Petersburg, Florida with Florida Sea Grant. Uh, Emily Mom Douglas, if anybody needed a parking pass, probably saw her. She was the one handing out parking passes out in the lot. She'll be here soon. She's at Louisiana Sea Grant. Um, Tara Skelton, who's up front, she's our team communicator. Uh, and then we also have Chris Hale from, in Texas Sea Grant and Missy Partiga, who is in Mobile for Mississippi, Alabama Sea Grant. Um, and one of the great things about our team is we're a multidisciplinary team. We all each have a different background, educational background, whether it's in biology, phys uh, physical oceanography, biological oceanography, chemical oceanography. So we do have uh, slight expertise in, in, in multiple areas that help us synthesize science um, as a team, not just individually. Um, so like I said before, we do a two-way exchange. We organize these seminars and we also do the publications. Um, as you saw, there's a whole table of publications out there. Those are, there's about um, quite a few out there. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to take hard copies. There's also an order form out there. So if you actually want a large quantity or multiple smaller quantities of multiple publications, you can feel, fill out one of those order forms and we'll actually mail them to you. Um, or you can come by my office anytime and grab a stack if you'd like. Um, and so again, how do we do it, what we do? So at the beginning of our, um, when our team first started, we just went out and met with folks and asked them questions. What's, what questions do you still have about the oil spill? How, what, what concerns do you have? And we gathered input from over a thousand people um, and we used this input to then um, look over peer reviewed journals, uh, government reports, to try to answer those questions and write the publications that you see outside. So that's our next step we have, um, we produce these eight page publications and we also have one pagers now where it's just a front and a back, um, or we host these seminars where we're trying to answer questions um, about a specific topic on oil spill science. Um, and then we just go back and do it all over again. We gather more information from our seminars and see what questions people still have and then continue to just repeat that loop over and over again. Um, and as I said, we have over, uh, we've done over 30 seminars thus far and had over 50, greater than 50 individual talks as a team. 
uh, 29 publications, 20 of those are eight pagers. And then there's just a list of these that we did this past year. Um, these are our newer publications. And then these are the ones that we're in production right now. Um, and all our publications go through a fairly severe um, public uh, review process. They get reviewed through our team, um, then our regional coordinator reviews them, they get a technical review. Anybody, any author that is um, cited in our publications gets a draft copy um, to do a technical review on, make sure we are um, basically representing their science correctly, make sure we're not misleading folks, make sure we're not saying the wrong thing. Um, and so we do a technical review and then it even goes out to um, the Gomery Research Board for another review. So it's very extensive um, before they actually get out to print. So um, purpose of this seminar today. So way, way back in 20, 2014, one of the main concerns was the, um, I guess, lack there of communication between scientists and emergency responders and people wanted to learn how to better that relationship and that communication and the networking. Um, so we decided to have a workshop in Port Aransas where um, the Texas Y spill had just happened and there was some miscommunication between um, researchers and responders and they wanted to get together um, to, to talk about it. So we hosted a, a seminar and it was a great success. And so we decided to go ahead and host a similar seminar in each state along the Gulf. Um, and so there's been four that have already been done. I'll talk a little bit more about this later. But um, so this is the last one. The fifth one in Florida um, is gonna complete the series. And basically we just wanna share new science and information about oil spills, bring people together to just network, communicate, learn about each other, form partnerships. And then again, at the end, we're gonna to want to gather input from our audiences to see where we can further, what would be the next step in the process that we're trying to, um, to help out with. So on that note, we're gonna go ahead and let, get started.